What up, y'all? It's Fatboy here, and today we are playing some Civilization V. Sid Meier, Civilization V. Uh, today we're going to be in charge of the Washington Empire, or the American Empire, or President Washington. Uh, this is just the outro. If you want to read it, you can go ahead and read it at the time. You can pause to read it. Well, I, I, was, uh, I don't think I can read it fast. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, welcome, President Washington. You lead the industrial American civilization, formed in the conflagration of revolution in the 18th century, which a hundred years of which a hundred within a hundred years the young pe the young nation became embroiled in a terrible civil war that nearly tore the country apart. But it was just a few short years later in the 20th century that the United States reached the height of its power, emerging triumphant and mighty from the two terrible wars that destroyed so many other great nations the others the, mm, the other the united states is a nation of immigrants filled with optimism and determination they lack only a leader to help them fulfill their promise president washington can you lead the american people to greatness can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time so to kind of help you guys for some of you uh non Knowing what these wars he's talk uh, that this talking about uh, the Civil War obviously if you don't know what the Civil War is then I don't know where you've been living for like the past twenty years Civil War was between the North and the South uh, the Confederation versus the uh, wait it wasn't the Confed the Confed the Confederation versus the Union I don't know I think I'm wrong I think it's the Union uh, I nothing I think it has something to do with the Confederation and uh I guess America I don't know I don't know what the other side was called I I, I want to say Union. The Confederation and the Union. I don't know. Maybe they, I think those two are the same. I don't know. But then the uh, second part here, we talk about it was just a few years later in the 20th century. The United States reached the highest fire, major triumph of the mighty from the two terrible wars that destroyed so many other great nations. The two terrible wars he talked about is World War One and World War Two. Obviously, if you didn't know that, go back to school, read a book, do something. But anyway, we're going to get start the journey here. We are all right. Uh, these are our settlers. Uh, this is a good place to found. Oh Since shit, we're near. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Consider sending your warrior out to explore hey, hey, your hey. territory. Hey, hey, shut up. Okay, so we're on the we're on uh the Earth map. The map we're on is Earth, and I can already tell you that we are near Sydney, Australia. We're somewhere near Australia. We're not in the United States at the moment, but this is where the map spawns us. So we're gonna. Continue to stay here. I don't like. I don't want them to settle here. I want them to settle somewhere up here. Oh my gosh! Shut up. I can't. I need to turn it off. Excuse me. Look! Look! Shut up. Where's the rooms at? Up there? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out a good place to set up my settlement or my city. Oh, good. We're right on the water. Sydney's down here. It looks like we have... Forget it. No, I'm going to let you guys just automatically. Uh, we're going to go down here. I'm trying to figure out, like, a nice place to set up the, the, the settlement. I'm waiting for the settlement, uh... What do you call it? The settlement. The, uh, god damn it. What do you call it? Fucking, uh, when they tell you, recommendation. Yeah, there we go. Sixty-five coins. Perfect. Alright, so so far we have Sydney here. It said we found another one. I don't know where. It says Sydney in all 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 Altamia. Alright, there, there's Venice. Oh, Venice. Isn't that in France? Oh shit! Nope, no, 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 no. Fuck! Pull back. God damn it! Shit! They're uh, oh no, they're man. They're in the encampment. I hope they don't come out and try to take them. You may want to consider this. Yes, I know trespassing. 
we're gonna bring them back down for a minute though. We're gonna send them up here. Forget it. We're just gonna Actually, can we do this? Okay, so we got flour over or sugar, sugar, cotton, silk, more cotton, cinnamon or spices. Yeah, spices first and incense. Uh America. We could Well, we can actually expand. Okay. Oh, actually, that was a good spot to set up in. Yeah, we got gold here. Food. We got. F oh yeah, actually, that's a good pot. Okay, so maybe we'll go back to where we started. Yeah, we'll go back to where we started then. And you guys, I don't want you guys fucking them up. So let's get out there area. I'm out. Of, I don't want to. Piss off anybody just yet. So we're gonna get the fuck out of Venice. I wonder how much. What would happen if we attack Venice? Oh, it's not gonna show us. Alright, perfect. We're out of their territory. Alright, yep. Yeah. Washington, here we go. We'll just start there. Put them back on automated. I really don't care anymore. Uh, turn them out. All right. So let's go ahead and start production of Washington D.C. We're gonna I get have some information. a monument started. We have 155. Can I buy workers? Uh, workers are 420. Holy hell, that's a lot. Choose research. Look at pottery. Oh no, shit. This is for finances and science. Yeah, yeah, we can do. S really not gonna focus on the military aspect of the game. I mean, the military uh, just yet. We are starting, so I don't want to have a strong military force because then we'll be feared right off the start of the game. So we're gonna focus on getting our gold supplies up and others. So yeah, we're gonna stick with. Yeah, we can close that. There we go. We can stick with. Uh, Welcome, I am Zhu Zitong. I am Wu Zaitan or Ziatin, Empress of China. We don't look for conflict with others, but we respond forcefully if you protect the interests. Okay, goodbye. Where are they at? Is that them? Yeah, that's them. Alright, let's adopt policy. Alright, so we can adopt tradition, liberty, or honor. These are policies. These are pretty much like what your uh, civilization goes by. You had tradition here, which is best for small empires. Adopting tradition greatly increases the rate of border expansion in the city and also grants three culture in the capital, which we, is Washington. Uh, adopting all the policies in the tradition tree will grant you 15% extra food growth and two plus food for in, for and two plus food in each city. Liberty is best for expansion, which is tied to rap to rapid expansion. Adopting liberty will provide one culture in every city. Adopting all policy in the liberty tree will grant free great will grant a group free great person of your choice near the capital. And then you have honor, which improves the effectiveness of one's army in a variety of ways. Adopting honor a 25% gives a 25% bonus co combat bonus versus barbarians. All notifications will be provided when new barbarian encampments spawn in the real territories. Gain culture for the empire and each barbarian killed. Adopting all policy in the tree, you get gold for every Barbarian, um, for any, every enemy killed, you're gonna kill. Oh shit, that was a lot. Uh, we're not focused on, like I said, we're not going to focus on military. I really not worried about rapid expansion because it's you, I, I can pretty much expand really fast by myself, so I really don't need it. So we're gonna go with tradition. And I guess the next one we can either go for aristoc aristocracy, legalism, oligarchy, landed elite, and monarchy. So we'll figure those out once we get there. But as of now, I need to hurry up get these. They need to hurry up and get out of Venice before we start shit. We got 14 moves until our monument is complete. Come on, need you get out, get out. Here we. There you go. Are we going to go attack? I have some information that may. Uh huh. I already know. I already know. 
So I brought the game yesterday, probably around. I, I, ooh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I brought it like less than the night, and uh, I played for 7.5 hours straight. I was like, holy shit, this is a lot. I never had so much fun in uh, Steam again. I mean, ever again. I mean, I never had so much fun in Steam. Melee combat. One of your combat. Are they fighting? Did they actually go to the fight? enemy unit you are near oh, is nope. fortified. Okay, that's weird. And we found Brussels. And sight on. Holy shit, we're finding a lot. Where the hell is sight on? Is that them? Oh yeah, okay, sight on. So, so far, we might not be Brussels. That's in France. Venice is in France too. Europe, Paris, Venice, Paris, so I think it's Paris, I don't know, Brussels, Sidon, I don't know where, and then we have Sydney, Australia, so, I don't know where we're at on the map, by looking at it, I can't quite tell where we're at, because, uh, like I said, we're playing on Earth, the map is Earth, so it's pretty much the, the entire Earth map, I don't know what continent we're on, put it that way, now we're figuring it out, hopefully as the map reveals more of itself, we'll find out. China has taken back its guarantee of protecting Brussels. Okay, that's good for you guys. Uh, we're just passing through. Hurry up, get the fuck. Yeah. So right now, everybody is at peace with. Well, yeah, so far everybody's at peace with one another. So that's why I sent my warrior. I mean, my warrior into automatic uh, explorers so that way no matter they can just go explore the world and not worry about fucking up people or not fucking with people so we just met Vienna which is Vienna I think that's Germany when it comes to geography I have no idea I don't know certain stuff Vienna I want to say Vienna I was going to say Vienna Sprouts that's, that sounds stupid uh, I got seven more until the monument is bro I mean, mm, is built. We have a town here too. I think this is Monaco, I believe. In Tyre. Yeah, so wait, no, Tyre is blue, is green. So who so there's something somebody else between here. No, oh, it says Cape Town. South Africa? Oh wow. Uh we need to get some workers as soon as possible. So when the monument is done, we're going to go ahead and build maybe two or three workers back to back. So we can start getting some resources and stuff. City state of La Harsa. La Harsa. I have no idea what that said, but by the sound of it, I'm going to say La Harsa. La Harsa. I'm going to say Africa, maybe? Or Eastern, the Middle East? Yeah, something. I don't know. Based on the buildings, it looks maybe Asian. I don't know. Alright, let's adopt the new policy. Alright, we're gonna go... Uh, let's go with tradition. Uh, let's see. We get either Aristocracy, uh, which gives 50% uh, bonus of 50... Which blah, 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 gives us 15% bonus... 15% production while building wonders and 1 plus happiness for every 10 citizens in, the, in a city. So if you have 10 citizens, you're automatically getting 1 happiness. Uh, you get 10% production with building wonders. I'm really not building wonders at the moment. Legalism provided free culture building in your first four cities. Uh, this actually might be useful. And oligarchy garrison units cost no maintenance in cities with a garrison gain with a garrison gain of 100% range combat strength. I like legalism. So we're going to go with legalism. It is a dangerous world and we are vulnerable to attack. All right. So every, we would say every 30 turns, we're going to uh, look at our advisors. We're going to see what our advisors have to say about our progress so far. Uh, let's do note worker. Damn, 27? And what, day 420? Uh, 355, okay. Alright, so it looks like my scout, I mean my scout, my warriors are still um, exploring for Research pottery. Our uh, next one. Holy shit! Everybody says silly. So right now, our military advisor, financial advisor, and foreign advisor are all saying we should research sailing. Uh, science is the only one saying calendar. So I'm gonna go with the sailing since technically, well, 
three out of the four agreed go to sailing, so that's in my book the right one to go with. So we're gonna actually this is because I just remember we can go fishing. We're right here in the water. We can definitely expand to the water, even though only we only have one water tower so far. And I just realized we're right on the river too. There's Cape Town. Our treasury has grown, and we have money to Kath spend. Kathmandu. You can Kath spend Mandu. money in a number of ways. So Cape Town is there. So where are we at? Where's my unit? Holy shit. Beijing! Oh! There's capital of Beijing. Alrighty then. Uh. Oh shit. Uh, what's, uh, that's right. Those are the two what's the names. The two city-states. So, so far my warriors are gathering a lot of ground. We're just gonna keep going until something important happens. We got five more turns until we find out how our advisors are judging us so far. So far, only other civilization I've seen is uh, was it Chinese Empire or Ottoman? China. That's the only other civilization I found so far is China. We got a couple barbarians. I don't know if China's the only one. Uh, I, I, I went to set up. I mean, I, I, this is a custom game, so this is a, like one of the quick play ones. Uh oh. Um, can we actually. Alright, we're gonna have them attack there. Hopefully, they attack that. I'm trying to see if we can build some relations with China. City states can help cities for your assistance. Oh, oh, let's see what happens. Two dudes left, three dudes versus four. Are we still winning this? Uh, it says stalemate. Uh, let's heal up. Uh, Sydney State requests your assistance. All right, who needs help? Sydney has met Sydney requests your assistance in evading barbarians. Each barbarian you kill will earn your influence over the city state. All right, so I can't do anything about that now because my warriors are all the way up there and they're actually handling something. So I'm going to have to get another warrior. Another uh, warrior unit to handle what I do down here. Let's see, anything else spectacular happening? Oh, wow. Oh, GG, guys. Don't die, don't die! Oh, fuck. What it? And China just sat there. That's fucked up, China. As a matter of fact, wait. Can we talk? Oh, we need philosophy. Okay. So we need to research philosophy. Because I want to see if they can, uh, we can get a peace treaty. I mean, not a peace treaty. A, uh, uh, sugar food. What do you call it? Um, they protect us. We protect them, pretty much. Oh, shit. Perfect. I got enough now. Let's go ahead and get a worker. And we can start building shit yes 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 I know I know I know I played the game before man we have a work you guys go manually I build I know what the f oh shit god damn it all right uh there we go all right so at this moment our advisors are we're gonna read pretty much what they're gonna uh, how we have come so far economic advice says we need more production to build things faster, use your workers to build mines nearby. Well, we just got to work until we pretty much just solved that problem. Uh, I don't think Washington needs to build any more workers right now. Ugh, what? We really didn't have any. I don't know. What she, uh, okay, I guess that's... I don't know. Uh, Washington is primed and ready to build a settler and to expand our empire. Alrighty. So we might look at that in the near future. Military advisor. Chinese empire is not to be thrived with. Uh, they have a stronger military than us, and we should only consider aggression in the most dire of circumstances. We're not working... We're not worried about them. As a matter of fact, we're not even going to declare war on anybody unless, uh, like, China asks for help. Yeah. Uh, if we research archery, we get access to archer having a modern military to keep us as safe, to keep to safety and efficient attack, effective attacks. We're nearly defenseless. We need to train more units. Yes, I know that. Uh, it's time for the barbarian neighbors to get extinct, build military units, and use them to destroy the camps. Alrighty. Our foreign advisor, killing barbarians is to or in, in or adjacent to Sydney territory, provide us with some influence over them. Yes, they just asked that. 
We need to continue exploring the seas to find new continents to settle in. Uh, we're researching selling, so uh, we could continue. Uh, we should continue exploring the world to discover ancient ruins, nat natural wonders, and other civilizations. Well, we're doing that also. Well, we was doing that until our warriors died. I shouldn't have engaged that barbarian group. That was my fault. Uh, and our science advisor, we should research calendar, which allows us to improve the sugar within our borders. That's right, we do have sugar. Our homeland is a small continent without much room for expansion. We need to focus on naval technology until we can embark units. So, I mean, until we can embark units. If we research writing, we'll be able to construct the paper making and library and the great library in the cities. That is a lot of research buildings. Our civilization is producing five signs and our two population. Now, that's efficiency. All right, so, so far... Everybody has, and so far everybody's saying we're doing good, but, uh, you know, just need to fix some things here and there. And that's, you know, nothing too serious there. They say we need to research, I mean, uh, we need to start exploring the sea, which we are doing once we uh, finish sailing. We do need, we're desperately going to get at least two warrior units. Uh, actually, we only need one, really, to go down here to this uh, barbarian camp. And, yeah. So far, our city defenses. Now, what is Beijing's? Nah, so, so far, Venice and Sydney. Oh, wow. Cape Town and Kathmandu. Wow, they got some good, strong city defenses. Well, our workers are working, so technically, that's really all that matters. We're getting some workers. We're starting on... Starting... We're going to start producing food and other gold. I can adopt a new map policy. Uh, we can either land and delete, uh, add 10% growth to all to food in the capital. <laughs> One go. Oh, actually, I don't like that. One unhappiness in the capital. Uh, now let's worry about food for now. I don't want anybody going hungry. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't want nobody going hungry. Actually, what is the hunger at? Because it's definitely not up here. Four point four food. Okay. So we're actually getting a, a good amount of food. We're getting ten go. All right. Yeah. So we're actually doing good. We're doing good. So pretty much right now, I guess right now we're just waiting for the other set of workers to kind of Venice is under attack. Holy shit. Venice requests your assistance against invading barbarians. Each barbarian you kill. Where's Venice at? I think that's the one right here. Oh crap. They got barbarians there. Alright, so pretty much just take out this encampment and we got Venice on our side. Uh, we can take out this encampment. I don't know if anything else is down here. So we definitely need to get a new... A um, what happens? How many warriors gonna take? Fifteen turns? Damn, that's a lot. Okay, um, fifteen. Um, shit, this is the toughest. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get some warriors. Let's just go ahead and switch the warriors. So we'll probably go help Sydney for. I have some information that may- Uh, my happiness dropped. Yeah, well, so we need- So we're gonna send warriors down to Sydney first, and then maybe send them up. The world's most well-fed people. Oh, wow. And we got sailing. Perfect. Alright. Let's choose... Mining, because we do have a mine. We have a mine right here. Or we can build a mine here. Washington has a very large area that it owns. So I might just expand the hell out of Washington. So I'm going to try to speed through this so we can get the... Whew, so we can get the warriors. I wish they had a button where you can just, it, it keeps going to the next one until something spectacular pops up. Like somebody needs their help or something like that. Damn, Sydney just expanded. We just expanded. Alright, so they're going to build a mine. Yep, there they go, right to building a mine. Let's look at... 
And we're gonna go ahead and do animal haberdashery. We got five more turns until our our warriors are done. Kathma 2 is un under attack by barbarians. I'm not really gonna worry about that because we're too far. Three more. Two. And one. So our warrior should be done now. We're gonna send them. Yep, there they go. Our capital city. Uh, let's do settler or scout. Foreign advisor say a scout. Economic say settler. I kind of want another warrior, and I also kind of want a work boat. Uh, we're, we're just gonna let's go with settler. Probably make we'll probably build somewhere around here if we could, and that way we can close that entire border and just protect everything. Either maybe we'll probably protect Sydney. Alright, we researched that. Let's research the wheel. Let's do archery. Light work. We have succeeded. So we're gonna wait. Oh, it looks like they actually have more units in there. That's why. All right, yeah. So we're gonna sit there and we're gonna heal up our unit. Actually, I didn't want to move them that close because most likely they can just attack. That's what they should do right now. They should just attack us. We demand cotton. Adopt the new policy. Um, let's liberty or honor. Uh, we could do honor because, yeah, we could, let's adopt honor. Yeah, let's adopt honor. All right, next turn. All right, looks like we're fully healed. Minor victory. Let's go for it. We do have another minor victory. Uh, uh, open terrain. Yeah, good. All right, so we have finally done right, and actually we can go ahead and continue to send. We're actually going to leave them there. They're going to heal up, but pretty much. Oh my God, this looks like Africa. Yeah, we're in Africa. Uh, you can tell on the map this is Africa. This is the continent of Africa, and this is the United States over here. You will probably once I reveal that, you can probably see the shape of Florida. But this is the Gulf of Mexico, pretty much. Yeah, so we're in. Okay, yeah, so we're right now we're on the continent of Africa. Which means if I keep going down south, there's really not, there's nothing going to be here. So actually, this is good. This is good. Once we feel like it, we can take over Sydney and uh, yeah, boom, there we go, perfect. Ooh, we have workers, perfect. We got some workers. All right, so we can put a, a territory down here. Up here, we had three. Probably take over Sydney. We have four, and then we'll pretty much just own the entire island of—I mean, the entire continent of Sydney. 
Um, we'll probably do that on the actually the next episode. Hopefully, our settlers will be finished. We can send our settlers over here to pretty much close that border off, which means Sydney can't expand any more north, and nobody can expand south. And pretty much, we can get somebody here. Just keep Sydney tight, because sooner or later, I am going to take over Sydney. And then we're, after we take over Sydney, we're just going to build up this entire island. We're going to own we're, pretty much this entire island is going to be the American Empire. But uh, that's going to be the, on the next episode of Civilization 5. Uh, tell me if you guys like it or not. Comment, subscribe, all that other good shit. Uh, like I said, this is something new. Uh, I really enjoy it. And I want to see you guys' opinion. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Peace.